Hi, my name is Beth and I'm the sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. In today's video, I'm going to show you a simple pattern alteration for how to move the position of a dart. I'm going to show you how to move a dart that's in a side seam up or down or a dart that's in a waist seam to the left or right. To decide if you need to make this alteration, I recommend making a muslin or toile of your garment. This is just a sample garment that will give you an idea of the fit. And if you don't know how to sew a dart yet, I have a video all about that that I posted last week and I'll put a link here and down in the show notes. So after you've made your muslin, you wanna try it on and definitely wear the bra and underwear that you plan on wearing with your garment and then take a look and see where the dart is pointing. Now I'm wearing a top here that really, it does fit pretty well, but the dart is a little bit low for me. The dart comes down below the center of my breast. So ideally with a bust dart, that dart would be pointing directly to the fullest part of the bust. So this was just a test garment. Um, I made a wearable muslin, so I did the whole process of making it so I can wear it, but I didn't test it out beforehand. So if I make this garment again, I will want to raise my dart just a little bit. You can just take your flexible measuring tape and measure how much you want to move that dart up or down. Likewise, you might have darts that are shaping the waist, and those could be darts going up towards the breast. In that case, you might want to move the darts to the left or right. And then you'll also have darts that would point down towards the tummy or the buttocks. And sometimes you'll get a better fit if you move those darts to the left or right. I'm gonna show you how to move side seam darts and the waist seam darts, and they're both really simple adjustments. Just make sure to make your muslin first. Let's get started. Here I have two sample pattern pieces, and these are printed out at 50% scale just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to use this bodice pattern piece to show you how to move a dart up or down in the side seam. And then using my skirt pattern piece, I will show you how to move a dart left or right. Moving a dart left or right can also be done if you have a dart that's in the waist seam of a bodice. So sometimes with a bodice front, you'll find you'll have a dart in the side seam and in the waist seam. For this pattern piece, it's only in the side seam. So we'll move it up or down to get a better fit. Um, but sometimes you might have one in the waist and you can also move that dart to the left or right, just as we're going to demonstrate in our skirt. So in a skirt, you might want to move your dart to the left or right to get a better fit over the buttocks or the tummy if you're doing the front dart. So this is a back pattern piece and my straight of grain is right along here along the center back. I'm going to draw a box right around the dart and I want to make sure that this box is parallel to my grain line. And then take your scissors and cut it out. So you can also use your ruler to mark how much you wanna move your dart. For example, if I wanted to move my dart to the inside, this is a half an inch, then I would just draw a line and I could line up my little dart with that new line. Likewise, if you were gonna move your dart this way, you would draw a line and line up your dart with that one. So let's move our dart towards the middle. You just wanna make sure that you don't get your dart twisted, going like this, just keeping it straight and in the direction that it originally was. So we just wanna move it along and line it up with that line. Grab some tape and tape it in place. And then you wanna grab a piece of scratch paper and just fill in the hole with your scrap paper. Tape that in. And then you'll just connect the line right here and cut away this excess paper. And that's really it. You'll wanna make another muslin, of course, and make sure that this fit is now working for you. So with the bodice pattern piece, you'll do the same thing. Just draw a box around that dart, draw that box perpendicular and parallel to our grain line. And you just wanna make sure that your box is big enough to encompass the dart.
I'm going to try to keep this dart running parallel to my grain line. So I'm just going to move this dart down. Again, from the, your muslin, you'll know how much you want to move your dart up or down. So if you move it down, you just put it down, tape it in place, and add paper up here. Or if you want to move your dart higher, just move it up the desired amount, keeping it parallel to the grain line, tape it in place, and then add extra paper to fill in that gap. Next, we'll want to redraw the side seam. To do that, grab your ruler and draw a line from the end of the dart leg down to the bottom of the side seam. Cut away any excess paper. Then do the same thing for the side seam above the dart. Add some paper if needed, redraw the side seam, and cut away any excess. It's also a good idea to measure your new side seams and make sure that they're pretty close to the original. This is a pretty small adjustment, so you usually won't have to adjust the side seam length to match the back. Well, I hope that that tutorial was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or other questions about darts. If you want to support the channel, I have links down below to donate a coffee or visit the pattern shop. You can also sign up for the newsletter, and if you haven't already, I would be so honored if you subscribe to the channel. Happy sewing!